Good morning, good morning, YouTube fam. So I figured I would jump on here because a huge majority of you guys follow my Denture um, videos and are constantly um, sending comments and asking questions and asking advice. And so some of the comments that I get um, I just want to kind of clarify with all of you guys. I just want to kind of give like my story of what I went through. Um, so we'll go back about 12 years ago, 13 years ago when I got pregnant with my, with my daughter, I had a severe calcium deficiency and I got sick all day every day so between the acid that ate at my teeth and having no calcium in my body my teeth start, started to disintegrate there was no cap filling crown that could fix my teeth they were literally falling out of my mouth they were broken at the gum line if you watch my prior videos about my teeth I actually give you like a little tour of the inside of my mouth. They were broken in the front. There was holes in the front. It was terrible. Not only for my appearance was it terrible, but I lived in constant pain. I was constantly in infections. Medications weren't working. I was in and out of the hospital. I couldn't parent my kids because I was in that much pain. I couldn't eat food. It just got to be unbearable. So about four years ago, I made the jump to go to the dentist. Now this is where my story begins. A lot of the comments that you guys um, message me are, why would your dentist do that? Why would you go for immediate? You don't get there, um, or we don't get those. Um, why, why did he go in the hospital? How do I? Okay, so to sum it all up, I live in British Columbia. Canada and just like a counselor has different modalities and interventions that they use um, and academics and schooling same with the dentist and a denturist is they all have different practices they have different backgrounds they have different privileges so where I live locally I have a denturist here who has hospital privileges that gave me the in to going into the hospital and being put to sleep for my extractions so i had 28 teeth removed um and i went to the hospital that morning and got all prepped up and <clears throat> i guess we could back it up a little bit as well too um, I got immediate dentures. So what is immediate dentures? What did I get? What was the process? So I chose, again, I did not have to go this route. I could have um, got the removal of my teeth. I could have let my gums heal. And then I could have went in and got a mold in my mouth and got dentures. Now this would have taken many, many, many months. Um, by the time I healed, got the impressions, the teeth were made, it would have been several months. Due to my age, due to my job, and my confidence level, I had already lived with broken teeth and discomfort for so long, I opted to get immediate dentures. So what does that look like? What happened was, I went into the denturist while I still had my broken teeth and they put a mold, this putty stuff in my mouth and I bit down on the mold. It made an impression of my gums. It made an impression of the current teeth that I had so they can kind of follow the shape. It was then when we chose the color of the denture that I was getting. This is where I'm disappointed is my denturist kind of went through his little color chart of teeth and kind of put them up to my skin tone and my mouth and said, aha, this is it. Um, this is the color. If we go any whiter than that, they're not going to look natural. Um, I just agreed with him and said, okay. Um, when my teeth were made and ready for me to pick up, which was several weeks after they were, um, the mold was done, 
I looked at them and I immediately kind of felt regret in the sense I really liked the shape of the teeth. Um, they were very natural and they looked like what my teeth looked like prior. Um, but the color to me had too much of a yellow color. It wasn't like, uh, wow, my smile's gonna be beautiful, but it was more like, ah, oh, they're done. I can't wait to have the sun and be out of pain. So morning of, I go into the hospital, I get all of my teeth, 28 teeth removed. They did surgery on the bottom of my jaw because the bottom of my jaw had a bone kind of sticking out. So the denture went to sat on top of that bone properly. So they had to do a bit of sawing of the jaw. Um, yes, this is something that's very common and dentists will do. I did not feel any extra really discomfort from it. Um, also, my dentist cut the little piece of skin that was that's combined from, goes from your top lip to your top jaw. Um, that little flap of skin. Um, a lot of denture denturists um, will cut it. Some don't. The purpose of it is that if you don't cut that little um, piece there, when they make your denture, they actually have to incorporate a slit like this in the top to make room for that piece of skin. So literally it was like a two second little slip, never felt pain from it, never felt discomfort from it, didn't even know what actually happened. Um, so I wake up from my surgery. I had ice packs taped all around my face. Um, my teeth were in already. Um, I got to take a look um, and I was like amazed. Um, the first few days was a little rough. I'm sure you can tell from my previous videos if you've watched them. Um, I, I, I was in some discomfort. It felt very bulky in my mouth. Um, you keep those dentures in, I believe, immediate dentures. They stay in your mouth for like three to four days and you only take them out to clean, but you just pop them back in, no adhesives, no nothing. Um, what that does is it helps your swelling mi stay minimal. Um, if you don't have the denture in, your mouth will just kind of do whatever. As you can notice, I didn't have a ton of swelling. I didn't have any facial bruising um, and none of that. So that was probably a lot to do with having immediate denture popped in. Um, as time went on, I ate jellos, um, all the soft type of foods, bananas, this, that, and the other. Um, and then I started noticing as I started to heal, as the weeks went on, you know, um, actually as the days went on, um, I was having a lot of pain in my bottom denture. Uh, it felt sharp in areas. Um, it did not feel right. And when I tried to chew, when I was able to start eating, um, like one side would unsuction and then the other side, when I moved to the other side to chew, that side would unsuction. Um, or it started causing problems and pain like up here on my top denture. So I went in several times to get my bottom realigned and readjusted. And after time, after time, after time, it would feel good for a few hours. And then I was back to the discomfort. So I tried doing self adjustments, which there was a few times I got so excited. I thought I did it, but it didn't end up being successful. And I have never been able to wear my bottom denture. Um, for the most part, nobody knows. Nobody knows that I walk around with just top teeth um, and no bottom. I notice it when I talk, I can definitely tell it's not like a lisp, but I can just tell that there's no bottom teeth. Um, and as time has gone on, I have really come to terms that I really hate the color. I really dislike it. It's too yellow for me. I know a lot of you have been so kind and like messaging and saying how nice and natural they look. But to me, I mean, mind you, I'm in like complete natural light right now. So it's giving me a little bit of more whiteness. But to me, they're too yellow and there's too much of a yellow tinge. So I want them remade. I am going to get top and bottoms made 
they are going to be immediate dentures or just like um, I guess they call them permanent after like your immediates um, they're not going to be screwed in or magnetized um, with posts that would be lovely you guys I would love that I've had so many people comment and message me asking like oh why don't you go get this this and that done um, I just don't really have any issues with my teeth and um, I also don't have probably like $60,000 just sitting in my bank waiting for me to go get um, post put into my mouth um, so it's probably just the route that I'm gonna go is just getting them remade top and bottom now that I'm completely healed. Um, <clears throat> I do wear adhesive. Um, I'm gonna start wrapping this up here. Some of my daycare kids are getting a little upset. Um, but I used to use, uh, I've tried several, but I do get asked this question quite often, so I did want to touch base on it um, about adhesives. I've tried powders, I've tried strips, I've tried polygrip, I've tried fix it into, I've tried a whole bunch of them. Um, nothing has been wonderful, but I tried this one and I bought it on Amazon the first time and it was called Secure Dental um, Denture Adhesive and it was amazing. My teeth were like glued in my head for like a week and I literally just brushed my teeth every day like I had real teeth in my head. Um, but I don't know if there's like a shortage on it or they're not making it anymore, but the ones on Amazon for like two small tubes now, I used to pay like four bucks a tube. Um, they're now like $75 for two small tubes. Um, so I have switched to like Fixident, I think, and it is terrible. Like these do not suction as well, um, because throughout the last four years, every year your your bone density and everything will start shrinking so these teeth that I have like they don't there's a lot of room in there so I find that because the glue is terrible and I don't like it um I need to get some my teeth remade so they fit in my mouth better long story short that is my story please keep in mind and remember that every dentist is different um, and depending on where you live, the price is going to be different. I live in British Columbia, Canada. I think my dentures with surgery and everything was about $4,000. Um, but I had medical coverage that covered the majority of that, but that doesn't mean that you will. And where you live, it might be a different price. So again, just keep that in mind. This is only my story. I'm not an expert, but it's my story. I hope this helps alleviate some of your guys' questions and you guys can make the decision whether you would like to or not and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.